Hang on a second. Another coffee? I don't remember making that one. What's going on guys? How are you doing? And welcome back to another video. And yeah. And well guys, today I'm going to be talking to you guys a little bit about how I got to where I am now. Because I've had a lot of people ask me and it kind of made me realise. Although you guys see my, the day in my life sort of thing as I'm growing on YouTube, you don't really see the journey as in how I see it. So I want to explain that to you guys and hopefully help you guys grow your channels because uh, well, I want you guys to do the best you possibly can. So uh, starting with what I first began recording on. <sighs> Thought I was going to hit me on the head. A phone. Not this one obviously because this we're talking about a good five years ago now. It was, a, it was a Nokia Lumia. So it didn't even have a front camera. I was holding it that way around. And... Yeah, that is how I began. So up until mm, a little while ago, so up until about four, three, four years ago, I was using that. Um, so if you look back on my channel, my very first videos, um, up until the Christmas where I got my first proper camera, you will see I was using my phone. Um, and it works, it works very well. It kind of grew me to my first 500 subscribers around that kind of grew me to about my first 200 300 subscribers about that but then i was kind of at that stage i was watching people like alfie days and i uh saw the quality on their camera and i was like that'd be so cool so i went out and got a camcorder um which was brilliant full 1080p um and it really really did the job well um amazing zoom in a way i kind of miss it but it broke a lot of times um so uh, yeah, the camcorder, that was next. It was just a Panasonic something, I can't quite remember. Um, but that broke quite a lot of time. So I kind of exchanged that in a little bit and then got some money off of my next camera, which was a, uh... oh, oh, my chest. <laughs> Beaten up by cameras. Oh, the Canon EOS 1300D. Now, um, I don't know if they still sell this thing. This is quite a little nifty little small beginner's body DSLR camera. And it shoots perfect. Like it is, it's really good if you're starting out. However, it only does up to 1080p and then 60 FPS at 720. And that isn't really what I wanted. I wanted to be able to shoot B-roll, good quality B-roll. So right now I can shoot 120 at 1080p and uh, 24 frames per second in 4K. And that was just a lot better. <laughs> Whereas this was very much 1080p for 24 frames and 720p for 60 in it. it it did the job though, it got me to my first 1,000 subscribers. It's also when I took my first trip down to the YouTube HQ in London, I also bought a sticker to put on the camera. Never forget that day because I've grown so many friends over YouTube, it's ridiculous. Mainly they live down London way, so I used to go to London like pretty much once a week um, to go and see them. And little things like that just remind me of the memories. Um, as well as the videos obviously that I created at the time. Hey Siri, is the Canon EOS 1300D still on sale? Okay, I found this on the web. I really don't think they sell this thing anymore. They do in some places, but not directly from Canon. Um, so it's got about a 300 pound price tag on it. Super cheap for a camera. And when you're starting out, it's perfect. And it's a nice kind of clear look as well. It's a little bit grainy, but that's me comparing it to me shooting in 4K now, but at the time, it was brilliant, and for starting out on YouTube, you, it's a perfect little camera, and it looks professional. Now the lens that it comes with, take the plates off. So it came with an 18 to 55 lens, just a little, just a little lens. This is the kit lens. I kind of never moved away from the kit lens because I always had plans to get bigger cameras. Now I'm settled with something like this, which is a bit more of an all-rounder exactly what I want, and I know that it's going to last me a long time. Um, and purely because I'm going to stick to Sony E-mount. I bought the lenses for this one, so then they'll work with any camera that I get. But this one, I wouldn't say it's too great for vlogging, because that's what I used it for a lot of the time. But you have to, when you turn it on, it doesn't have the continuous autofocus. So you literally have to hold it up, hold the focus button. Wait for the little bleep to say it's focused. And then you begin recording. And everywhere you go, you have to press the button, hold it. And uh, if you guys shoot your own thumbnails as well, and you need some good photography, then it's brilliant. You get some awesome photos from this. It's really, really good for photos, surprisingly. Um, so if you guys are looking to start into photography as well, then definitely 
Look at that camera if you're a uh, darting range. So if you're watching this video and you are thinking about going out and buying a camera after this video, whether that's an SLR or a DSLR or just one that you can remove the lens on, um, one tip here is definitely buy a filter, whether that's an ND. I normally get a UV filter because it doesn't really change it, so I can just keep it on there the whole time. Every single one of my lenses has a UV filter on them. Not really because of the UV, because it does annoy me a little bit, because it leaves little green lines sometimes. But just these, really. This is one I had on my Canon lens. Just so it covers the end, like that. So when you take it off, so I've had this camera, I've had the Canon camera about three, four years now. The end of the lens is still immaculate, no dust no dirt, no anything, because I keep this on there. So if you get a scratch, then all you need to do is buy a new filter, that's about 20 quid. Instead of spending hundreds and hundreds on a brand new lens, it's, uh, it's gonna save you a lot of money in the long run. Filters, buy them. As you guys can probably see as well, I have fully battered up the end of this lens. Like it's just not even, it's awful. That's just the end of the filter, thank God, not the lens. So any damage on that, that's all purely done to the filter, thank God. Bro, it's getting chilly, like literally. Don't know what's happened to the heating, but it doesn't feel warm at all. <laughs> I've still got two coffees to down. Never thought it'd be a struggle to down two coffees, but today it's hard. And then guys, obviously I turned to this camera, which you guys are on right now, the Sony A6300. Obviously, it's quite hard to show you this camera. I've shown you in many vlogs in the mirrors and stuff. But uh, yeah, here's a picture here anyway. So I use that right now. I'm using my 50mm 1.8. So all of this background should be nice and blurry um, because the f-stop does go down to 1.8. So I make very good use of that in these sit down videos. Um, and then I also use for vlogging my 10 to 18 lens. That's f4 though, so the background doesn't blur too much. But in my last video, which was the McBan, I used that there to get a nice wide angle across the car. Nice GoPro looking shot. But I will shit on GoPros, I hate them. They're just, I don't know. They just give that action camera effect. Like if you're using an action camera for what an action camera needs to be used for, then they're good, but you can't vlog on a GoPro. I know people that vlog on GoPros, it's disgusting. Actually awful, this is getting so stupid. I don't know, maybe GoPro vlogs could be your niche, but it's not really. I don't know, they're a bit too wide. Like fisheye, I don't really like, even for effect because the effect just is too wide. It starts to look like a Snapchat filter and I just don't really like it. Um, but 10 millimeters is probably my widest and it's good for vlogging because you get a nice open view and also it's quite wide, so it's quite like the natural eye. And because it's so wide, it's quite like the natural eye, so the viewer really feels like it's their eye watching for it because you get the same sort of range view as you would out of your normal eye, um, which is good because what I'm seeing right now is quite wide. <laughs> I don't know, looking for a camera is weird. I always kind of relate back to the eye. But obviously this camera I've spoken about a little bit is awesome. 24 frames 4K, or 25 frames 4K, or 30 frames 4K, and then 60 frames per second and 120 at 1080p. Um, we can film anything at 720, but who uses 720? 720 is awful. Why would you use 720 FPS? Who who does that? Who uses 720? Like, I know there's that phrase, quality, not quantity, but when it comes down to 720 FPS, I think I prefer more 1080 shitty vlogs than a couple of 720 vlogs. Like, 720? Really? I feel like my phone screen is even past 720 now, and my phone is old, like old. Like I still have 2013, 2014 Xbox games and they require 1080p screens. So recording in 720 is just embarrassing, man. Don't do it. Not to shit on any of your vlogs, but 720, come on. This is getting bad. Why am I talking about 720? If all of you were to create a vlog, even on your phone, it would be in more than 720. Like my phone can do 1080p. My phone can do 4K now. That just proves 720, no longer acceptable. And then yeah, that's where we are right now. So I'm gonna end this video now, guys. I hope you've uh, gathered some information. If you are trying to build your channel, then hopefully you've seen the progression and that you don't just think you're spending loads of money on cameras. I did that too, and it got me to here. So I'm gonna carry on doing that because it's done quite well for me. Um, and yeah, so best of luck to all of you. Make sure you smash a like on this video if you did like the video, and also subscribe if you guys are new to the channel and haven't seen any of this on your screen before. Um, and yeah. I'll see you guys in, see you in the next one. Peace.